Welcome to Web Design Tutorials for HTML. This is lesson number five. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use a line break tag. And the line break tag is a special tag because it's actually an empty tag. In other words, it doesn't have any element content. That means there is no text between two tags. In fact, the HTML element for line break, it only has one tag. It doesn't have an opening and closing tag. So I'll show you what I mean when once we get started. The first thing that I want you to do is to open up that previous HTML document. And when you open up that previous HTML document that we were working on, the first thing I want you to do is to click towards the end of that first H1 heading element. And I want you to go ahead and hit enter and create a space between that first H1 heading element and the paragraph element. And within that first paragraph element, I want you to click towards the end of that first sentence that we created. And I want you to write your first line break tag. And I'm going to explain to you what I just wrote there. Basically, I closed that element with the forward slash and I created a space between the, the R and that forward slash. And that's telling the web browser that, hey, he closed that line break tag. Now you don't have to do that, but I tend to follow the stricter rules of HTML. So I always put that forward slash there. And the rules that I'm following are related to a more stricter version of HTML. So you don't have to write it the way that I did. But the way that I normally write it is the letter BR and then the space between R and the forward slash. And that's how you write your first line break. Now I'll show you the other way in a moment if you want to write it without closing it. So go ahead and hit control S and then go ahead and find that, that file on your computer. And when you find it, go ahead and double left click on it and open it in your web browser. And you'll see that right after that first sentence, it created a line break and it placed both those other sentences on the second line. And if we go ahead and go back to our HTML document, and we were to go towards the end of the second sentence that we wrote where it says this is our second sentence in this paragraph if we were to write another uh, line break and this time I'm going to write it without the, the space in the forward slash so you could write it this way and go ahead and hit control s and then we're going to go ahead and go back to our web browser and I'm going to hit the refresh key instead of actually double left clicking on the document again because it's a much faster method of seeing the results so go ahead and left click on that and you'll see this time that right after the part where we wrote this is our second sentence in this paragraph it created another line break which forced the third sentence to be on the third line and let's go ahead and go back to our html document and you can see that both the line breaks that we wrote are totally different so if you want to use a stricter version you would use that first line break that i wrote which is BR and then space and forward slash. And if you want to use the less stricter version, you would write it just as BR and with the angle brackets. But again, I like to use the stricter version for a cleaner code. So the choice is up to you. So that's how you create line breaks using the BR tag. And if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me a message on YouTube and I will do my best to answer your question. But other than that, I hope that you comment, subscribe, embed, or share this video and give us thumbs up. And I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.